What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to the third and possibly final part of the Let's Play. As I mentioned, this is more than likely just going to move to to streaming. But you'll, you'll see a better idea of why once we get past this, the way the world just opens up. Um, but anyway, we'll we'll see if I can even get past this. To be honest, this is a uh, this is a, a very very hard mission for how early it is. To be honest, I ended up. Uh, I ended up taking like six, seven attempts at this with the Dachi and just could not get past it. The, the boss dude we gotta kill is just that strong. So, so far things have been going a lot better uh, with the, the dual blades. So, we'll see if that, if that makes, a, makes a difference. Multi chop. So when one goes down, the other comes out. Hey. 
Cool. Alright, now that they're all dead, let me take a look at. Can I see his combat style? I can't. Okay. Uh, I want for a strength point. Flash attack. Arrowhead oils and poisons. Let's bounce off the head. I like that. I don't think my strength is going to be high enough to take advantage of that thing. Actually, let me check the gear before I disassemble. Alright, do we have a better dual blade? We do not. For weapon two, we do not. Sub weapon looks good. Use its attack and defense stance. So equipment with a level higher than your own will not exhibit its true value. Weapons can be upgraded. Okay. Uh, equipment level six. I mean, my level's three, but any more damage? I mean, it uses 19? I don't know if it makes sense to upgrade that. I think I should just wait. With the full heals, we got some toxic whetstones. Aerolytic, flash powder, gunpowder. Now we gotta kill them or they'll follow us into the boss fight. Alright, let's just do this. Alternative character already fighting. He is, but he's kind of just standing there, it seems. This might work out. I mean, I have 
eight heals. Usually when I was going into this fight, I had like three, so... I'm definitely set up better than the last time I tried to do this. I also just don't think the Odachi is very good. little piece of advice from Rurikon here, which is to just constantly swap back and forth so you can keep damage on him. Yeah, that did not go that way. I, I swear y'all should have seen the the first time I attempted this dude It was like six seven attempts and finally I was like this is whack. I'm, I'm done. I don't know what's happening here Huge difference And we're on the same difficulty, so I don't know what changed. I guess just dual blades are that much better No mercy for bandits. Yeah, trying to fight that dude with a dachi, he just... I didn't get a chance, but... Yeah, the, the constant swap back and forth does seem to be the play. Because I was trying to parry him a bunch. It just would not work. わしが横浜から暗い根気に新しい日本に使用地を持っちょるんじゃ。根手形はそのための第一歩ぜよ。おらんよ Chief Sodachi. It's probably really good. That's what I was hoping to, to get access to. When I was fighting him, I was like, oh, this dude's an Adachi guy. It'll be great if I can beat him. I just couldn't beat him. He just, he just beat my ass up and down. Mighty Warrior. What does it do? Strength 2. That is pretty poor. But it's way stronger than anything I have, so I'll put it on.
didn't even check. Is it just pure strength it scales with? Strength and charisma. Yeah, nothing with dex. Also, the, the prompts, man, those things stay on the screen way too damn long. Yeah, obviously I want Ally to follow up on critical hits. Shared benefit of consumption sounds good. Should work down to this, the auto pills. そうは思いませんか。まあ、お前さん、机の上で考えてるからそう思うんだろうが。神妙に戦か。あれじゃ、タミクスはついてこねえだろ。日米で通商条約を結ぶため再び黒船が来航した騒然とする横浜の町にはこれから日本の歴史を作っていく者たちが集まっていた Gonna roam around a little bit. Um, where's that marker I put up?
So you can actually use the spin to win. This this one didn't really ever hit anything. Well, that's different from the uh, the one I used to have. I guess it's because of this particular Adachi, maybe. That's the one that always whiffed. So yeah, the stances, it's like a rock, paper, scissor type thing. Five? Oh, we're definitely going after your ass. See, that's the thing with, like, the stance system, you know? Like, I feel like even when I was playing Ghost of Tsushima, I was... Like, there there was a clear, like, you know, this beats shields, this beats spears. But for the most part, you could really just run whatever the fuck you want, and it didn't matter. Um, and we do have something like that here with swapping between stances and then stances are gonna you know, give you new potential moves but I don't know man it's just yeah like you can you can very very clearly see like where they got their inspiration but I also think it's it's fairly obvious that it's kind of I don't know just fell short in a couple areas. Piece handgun perfectionist. Uh, damage taken down. Nullify. Headshot. Mighty warrior. Key consumption guarding down. And what are you giving me? Attack up with pistols, which I don't have one yet. And I think the thing is, just to be clear, like I don't think this is bad. It's not bad, it's just, you know, you, you look at what this game is doing and what we've already gotten in this genre. Like, I, I hate constantly bringing up Ghost of Tsushima, but it's like, that was a last-gen game. And it it looked better. It played better. The, the exploration felt more natural. The, you know, environment, the detail, the lighting, everything in that game was, was gorgeous. And here it's... You know, it has it has that that Neo vibe to it, which I think in the context of a smaller game like Neo, where it's just quick little missions, you know, you're not you're not as concerned with the environment. I'm I'm playing when I'm playing Neo, I'm playing for the loot, baby. I'm playing for the loot and the combat. And I think taking that kind of that that ideology and trying to put it into an open world. I just don't think it really works, because, you know, when I'm exploring a large open world like this, the design of the world and how things look, that is part of the consideration for me. That is part of, you know, what's going to get me excited to be in that world and explore around and go all over. You know, if we, uh... 
Like, come on, man. Let me cut the bamboo down. I'm, I'm, you know, cutting bamboo with swords. It's Samurai 101. I don't need to, like, cut it and collect. Just, you know, so, I don't know. It, it just doesn't feel like there's a lot going on here in terms of world interaction and environment. Isn't this just where I was? It was, yeah. Uh, delete marker. We went to the wrong damn marker. The loads are fast. Loads are loads are quick. Those are those are quick. I guess a good way to describe it would be the environment is very flat. You know, it doesn't have the uh I was talking with, with Rurikon about it. He thinks one of the reasons is probably because I'm coming fresh off of a, a rebirth as well. And playing this comparatively, it does feel like I've gone back like a, a whole gaming generation. But I, I think it's more just because, you know, playing playing the, the other titles they have, uh, in particular, you know, playing, playing stuff like Stranger Paradise and Woe Long and Neo. Like, I've come to expect a certain level from Team Ninja's combat. And at least early on, I don't think this has that level. Smack the shit out of me. It also seems like stats don't really matter all that much, at least early on, because I just, you know, we got the Odachi from the boss, and it's clear, like, oh, this is much better than, than the one I had before. I should use this. This is good. Barely tickle these guys. Alright. 
Never mind. It's clear I'm not meant to be here. I didn't think a three level gap would be uh, that much of a threat. Oh, I <laughs> just fast travel away in combat. That was not expected. All right, let's go here and make our way into the city. And look at the feet I got. Marvelous Sword Saint. Hmm? Wait, unlock? I was putting them on because it's stats. It also doesn't help that this is releasing the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2, because given they are, they're obviously very, very different games. You know, one is Samurai Fantasy. I don't know if fantasy is the appropriate word. One, one's a Samurai Adventure, the other is like Deep Fantasy with, you know, dragons and sphinxes and all that stuff. Uh, but both are, you know, open world RPGs, adventure, make your character, level up your character, and you know, in that regard, this just, it definitely seems lacking compared to, I think, what we have come to expect from open world games in general. The traverse is kind of fun. I wonder if I can go out to the boat. To see what the official person is for. Get the damn thing off the screen. Where is Merker 1? Move you. Level 2, level 6. They just keep popping up, man. Uh, eights, eights. At large, new combat style. Didn't I go there? Didn't I, didn't I go over there and beat up somebody already? Why is he... Large new combat style. Great sword. Do I have to have a great sword before I beat up that guy? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, same with with this guy, Grave Robber Ganta at large. Didn't I? I killed that guy. But if I killed them, why are they showing back up? I'm super confused. Is it like to farm them for drops or something? Actually, I don't remember fighting, going through and doing a fight like this. Maybe they are new people that are showing up on the map. Oh 
it's a dog. The dog is the boss. travel and then I'll auto run. This is what Rory was telling me about. He was like, they just keep popping up. I think you've like gotten stuff off the map and then more shit just shows up. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, it just keeps popping. You know what I mean? It keeps popping. He's like, there's just stuff. It just keeps more shit to do. It just keeps showing up. Which isn't typically a bad thing, obviously, but when you're like, okay, I'm done with this part of the map, I'm ready to move on. The game's like, not so fast! Go back here for another fight. I'm like, wait, what? Temple Crasher Yosuke. I think it's somebody inside. Because when I was here, it gave me a, a message about fighting the Ronin, so I assumed that's who I had to fight here. I think there's somebody inside. I don't know, is there? see like an entrance into this place temple Cratcher yosuke at large new combat style for great sword Jesus, God, this guy fucking hurts. This is how the, the stuff levels up. You can see up on the top right there, lost my uh, renown or whatever it was. And now it'll bring me back here. Slayer deal critical hit to reclaim lost karma. So you'd be defeated, it's lost forever. So, yeah, very, very clearly, you know, some Elden Ring exploration, or yeah, Elden Ring inspiration here. A, uh, you know, open world souls like type feel here where it's you know, hey you, you dropped your, your stuff, you gotta You gotta get it back, you lost it. You know, I'm curious, because I, I don't know. You know, like I said, I've been I've been like gaslighting myself, being like, no, there's there's something I'm missing here. Like there's no way Team Ninja cooked for so long and this is it. Like, I love the stuff Team Ninja does usually. 
there's got to be something something I'm missing here something you know something that's that's not clicking with me something that like I, I'm, I'm missing it but the game's actually like super there's something that's super good and I'm like what am I missing Sword. Is it good? Not very good. No, I should I should just be using my, my dual blade, but they don't I don't have I need I need more combat styles to like make it useful, you know. I think that's the big thing for me is is you know coming coming from Neo and and Wo Long and Stranger Paradise and those games we had a lot of the mechanics front loaded, which to me that meant like hey there's a lot going on here, but that also means you know there's a lot that you could potentially master, and there's a high skill ceiling that can be reached. Here it seems like there there might be a skill ceiling. But you have to go around and like learn all the combat styles, so stuff is, you know, it, it's backloaded, and the combat's like super simple early on. Yeah, I defeated a bunch already. Can I, uh... Okay, so you give me stuff used to earn rare strength points. I need 30, 30 fugitives for a single strength point? Jesus. And I got 40 right now. You can see on strength or healing elixirs. What else is there? Is it frequency for people who like... Oh, I need to get... So I guess as, as I collect them, it's just going to unlock stuff. If I get them all, I get... Lots of stuff from strength. All right, whatever. I'll just pick it up, I guess. Okay. Uh, there's a cat nearby. Let's try and get the cat. I like getting cats. Let's go. Hang on. No, let's go. Let's go do this. The public order. Want to do the public order and then get the veiled. Right, Actually, so let's get the veiled first, and then I can do the public order. Or maybe I'll just get it here. I don't know. Looks like I'm running right by it. Uh, the problem is, like, like, you know, I beat that one dude, and so I have the secondary stance, but the secondary stance is, like, with an Odachi, which is not what I wanted to use. I wasn't enjoying the Odachi as much. The game's like, yeah, but you ain't... Well, that Odachi, you got, you got stance advantage. You should probably use that. It's like I don't I don't want to. It's just I don't know, man. There's there's a lot of really weird systems that like I don't know, it just seems like they they didn't fully think some of this through.
Yeah, beat his ass, sea bass. Going for the fourteen. Thirteen. Eight. We're still six, so that ain't happening. Oman mo tsuichotta ka? Kuro fune ga kite, minato ga kiraite, makko to nigiaka ni natta mon ja. Oman wa kon yokohama ni nani o shi ni kita ka ja. ヒグじゃのう。わしも人を探しに来た。剣道、その人はただもんじゃないぜよ。わしは吉田松陰さんを訪ねてきたんじゃ。おまんも聞いたことはあろう。百年先の日本を見据えるどえらい先生じゃ
feel like the frame rate's chugging all of a sudden. It's weird. This is frame rate mode rip. あら、あなた様もしや。高さんが言ってたお侍様ですね。お待ちしておりました。おお、そうだよ。英芸者になるぜよ。私は吉、斉藤吉。お二人が来たら案内するよう頼まれたんです。あ、そうそう。遊国では野暮と星のものはご法度です。気をつけてください。野暮っていうのは他のお客様が遊ぶのを邪魔
ここは遊郭浮世のことは忘れ楽しんでくださいまし。そうじゃそうじゃチックと他の座敷に挨拶してくるぜよさっき知り合いを見かけたのうんうんうん楽しい方でございますね二人でご一緒に横浜までおいでにおやそうでございますか随分仲がよろしいようにお見受けしましたがそれで横浜へ何をしにいらっしゃったのですかさてその方と関わりがあるか存じませんが黒船に乗ってきた侍の噂なら聞いたことがございますこの遊郭には横浜中の噂が行き来しますからでも教える前に一つお願いがあります今流行りの写真機でこの遊郭を撮ってほしいのです何でも写真機はありのままの姿を残す機会とかこの宮崎遊郭のにぎわいも残したいわ写真を撮ってくれれば黒船に乗ってきた侍のことを教えますわそうそう肝心なことを写真機はここにはないのです写真館に行ってみてくださいお願いしますねうん、but like I said, if, if this continues, it's going to be on stream.、Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to. I mean, I haven't had a chance to play Dragon's Dogma. It's kind of good I've had a chance to play this first because I think it's going to be very easy to kind of push this off to the side and, and come back later when things are slow.、Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know. I know I've seen a lot of people excited for this. Personally, I was excited for it myself. And,、uh, you know, I can't help but. But feel a little bit disappointed in what was delivered. So, at the bare minimum, I wanted to get a couple episodes out there and let y'all take a look at the game. Maybe you feel differently. Maybe it's, it's right up your alley. If it is, great.、Uh, but, you know, I like to cover games. I like to keep y'all informed about them. And that's why I did the little three episode series of this. So, if I do end up streaming it, you'll see more of it there. I'll throw it in the same playlist with this.、Uh, if not, then,、uh, you know. Fingers crossed for Neo 3.